Back at ringside, Madison Square Garden, Johnny Addy, ring announcer, introducing Emil Griffith, former welterweight middleweight champion of the world, and Dick Tiger, the former middleweight champion. They'll be fighting here in the Garden on March 11th. Clean fight, clean punches, both the belt, no kidney punches, no rabbit punches. And please, when I and my command break, I want both of you to stop punching and step back. Any questions? All right, good. Shake hands and good luck to watch. All right, we've had all the introductions to Bell for round one. Jimmy Fr Ellis in the white, or well, light trunks against Joe Frazier in the black. Trunks with the gold stripes. Frazier coming out smoking as he puts it. Styles critical here. The interesting thing to watch how Ellis makes the fight against Frazier, who's a swarmer, always coming at you. Joe without any particular style. No single punch he's ever thrown has been remembered, but he throws enough of them to really damage the adversary almost beyond repair. Ellis, the classic stylist, the boxer, the left jab, the left hook, the crunching right, a very underrated puncher. Against the two common opponents, as you saw, Ellis was better against Bonavina, Frazier was better against Quarry. Got in a good left and a good right up to the head of Frazier. Frazier's head has always been hittable. The problem is to stay away from Frazier. Frazier, the overwhelming favorite going into this fight. Ellis weighing more than he ever weighed for any other fight. Getting in two lefts and a right. Joe with one left that landed and another left that missed. Then low with the third left. One minute left to go in the first round. Ellis, remember, has a sneaky right that's capable of a knockout. He showed that against Oscar Bonavena whom Frazier couldn't deck in 25 rounds of fighting. Ellis getting in a couple of lefts, and the two in a clinch.
About a half minute to go in this first round. Ellis with a quick left and a right. Ellis with a left. A left getting into Frazier in this first round. Jimmy with a right lead. Jimmy with another right lead that caught, El uh, caught Frazier. Good first round. You're looking at Jimmy Ellis sitting down. Ellis landing some good lefts and rights. Sometimes in combination, sometimes singly against the head of Joe Frazier. Ellis, the boxer, seeming to have the upper hand in the first round. But this is a Schedule 15 round with such a long way to go. However, oddly, at the weigh-in this morning, Ellis, the overwhelming underdog, was picked to win by at least half the writers attending the weigh-in. Extraordinary in view of what we've heard from Las Vegas, Nevada. You're looking now at Joe Frazier, listening to his manager, Nancy Durham. <laughs> Round two. against the ropes and wants to keep him there. Ellis wants the center of the ring to use that snake-like left and follow with the right. Young Tony Perez, the referee, his first championship bout as a referee. As a fighter, he had 69 amateur fights. He was in the 52 Olympic finals in his division. It's a big opportunity for Perez, who's got youth, movement, knows that the job of a referee is to keep that movement, have position, control the fighters as you see him doing there. about and Perez is warning Frazier about before the fight the butting the fact that the way in today Ellis said don't butt me or I'll put you out early talk of course he put Frazier out anytime he could another warning from referee Perez to Frazier for the butting so far Ellis has been making the fight his way in the center of the ring using the left jab the left hook the right in combination where possible Singly, we're not possible. A good left by Frazier. Frazier the pursuer. A minute to go in round two. Any unanswered questions that will be answered tonight. The stamina of Ellis, who's always a quick starter. Whether or not he's got a breathing problem. Madison broke his nose. Ellis keeps landing with that left. There's Frazier with a good combination to the midsection. That's where he can hurt Ellis, and he hurt him a little bit right then against those ropes. Old Dundee tactic is for Ellis to break the punching ring. Frazier, 10 seconds less. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. End of round two. Joe Frazier going back to his corner. Much better second round than first, but Ellis still fighting generally well tactically. And of course, the question Ellis is stemmed. Back in a moment. This 747, Phil, it must have cost TWA a pretty penny. Ah, they've come a long way. Mm. Do you recall what we flew on back in 35? Yeah, we were pioneers. Uh, in the hardware business, they used to call us the Young, young Eagles. Eagles. 
let's look around. On this plane, you can choose your own time to eat. Observe. On the DC-3, we were happy with a ham sandwich. And two tangerines. I never got a tangerine. Rudy, a choice of two... Come on, come on! Of two different movies. On the old trimotor, all we had to look at were mailbags. <laughs> a touch of the bubbly. Phil, air travel has really made you a bon vivant. Our new 747. Somehow, you feel more important on TWA. Back at ringside, Madison Square Garden, awaiting the start of round three. Ellis against Frazier. That's Angelo Dundee working over Jimmy Ellis. Dundee telling Ellis again and again, stay in ring center and make the fight tactically right. The bell for round three and what has been a very stimulating fight thus far. Two good, quick rounds. Within the main, Ellis seemingly fighting his fight. Frazier coming after him, but Ellis fighting his fight. Getting the lefts in with a good assortment of rights. Saw Ellis just now getting the left in. left and the right. I said toward the end of the last round, Dundee wants Ellis to break Frazier's punching rhythm. He calls Frazier a 1-2-3 fight. That is, there's a subliminal mental count of 1-2-3 before Frazier unleashes the punches. Break that with head movement, lateral movement, or even with your own blow. Dundee feels you've got Frazier on the defense. Remember, that's the Dundee strategy. Whether or not it would work if a good left. Good left by Frazier. Ellis hurt. Ellis holding on. Ellis definitely hurt against the ropes. Stagger. Rubbery leg. Glassy eye. Frazier after. Sudden turn. Sudden turn in the fortunes of the event. You see Ellis holding on and dazed and glazed. One good solid left by Joe Frazier. Joe after him. Ellis still holding on. The crowd sensing Ellis's predicament. A little more than a minute left in this, the third round. Let's see if Ellis can fight him off. Frazier smoking now as he puts it. Another good left. Ellis in trouble. Ellis back against the ropes. Frazier not connecting, but Frazier the aggressor. One minute to go in round three. is in real trouble. You saw him stagger. He's fighting back. But Frazier's in definite command. Strong command. Another good left hook. Missing with that one. Missing with that one. Ellis staggers back out of the uh, out of the rope position. But now back in his corner. Follow that timer at the bottom of your screen along with the fight. Ellis trying to hang on through this, the third round. One stupendous left hook, get it. Got Ellis in trouble, where Ellis had been fighting his fight and controlling. The end of the round. Joe Frazier going back to his corner, broad grin on his face. He thinks he's got this fight won. Angelo Dundee working over Jimmy Ellis in the corner. Now, a replay of the action for that big first left that changed this fight completely. That one was a miss, but that one was the one that did it. From that point on, as you saw, Jimmy Ellis in desperate trouble. Joe Frazier in his corner now, listening to Yancey Durham. Joe Frazier, who judging by that grin at the end of round three, feels that he's got this fight completely won. Joe Frazier in utter dominance now. Back to Dundee and Jimmy Ellis. Jimmy, as you can see, looking down, listening to Dundee. Dundee talking to him. Dundee working over the forehead. Dundee trying to put life back into his fighter. Frazier, a different kettle of fish. Ready for the fourth round. Quiet now and poised and perhaps 
ready for the kill. Got Ellis striking out immediately, trying to come back. This has been some night for boxing. Peralta in a courageous fight against Foreman. Now spirited action in the first three rounds between Ellis and Frazier. As you can see, Frazier is in control of this fight. He is the aggressor. Ellis is not what he was before that first left hook landed on Ellis. In fairness to Ellis, he has never been down as a heavyweight, but two sharp left hooks by Frazier get to him. Frazier is confident now, trying to pour it on. He is the stronger man, a right uppercut. Now a left against Ellis's glove, though not against the face. We are almost a minute and a half into this, the fourth round. But it's a different Joe Frazier and a different Jimmy Ellis from the first two and a half rounds. A right by Frazier against Ellis's left jaw. Frazier sensing the kill, trying for it. Ellis without the movement that he had in the first two and a half rounds trying to fight back. The lateral movement that he had, the semi-circling is not there. Keeping Frazier in the center of the ring, not there, he's against the ropes now. Trying to come out, coming into Frazier. Has a left hook to Ellis's chin. Ellis is in trouble again, against those ropes. If he stays against those ropes, he is to be devastated. Less than a minute left in round four. Frazier giving it to him and giving it to him. A right there. A left that missed. Another right that connected. Down goes Ellis. Down goes Ellis. He is beaten. Jimmy Ellis is going to try to get up. He is worn to a frazzle. He is a game, game young man. He is up. He got the, past the mandatory eight count. He was up at nine. Frazier is strong. As you can see, just seconds left. Frazier again with the left. Ellis standing there. Oh! A tremendous left hook. And he cannot be saved by the bell. He cannot be saved by the bell. This fight may be over. Ellis with tremendous courage is up. He is up. And the fight continues. A tremendous display of courage by Jimmy Ellis, who has never been knocked out. He sits there on his stool. As you can see, Chicky Ferrara working on him. Louis Soria working on him. Out of the action. Watch Frazier come in. A right, a left, a right, a left. That left was brutal. And so, we have seconds to go to the start of round five. You see Ellis talking to Angelo Dundee. This fight may be over. This fight is over. Angelo Dundee, call Tony Perez. Over. It is over. A knockout in the fourth round Tony, under New York Tony, State rules. Tony, this reporter Tony, once Tony, again is going the, into the ring to this. talk to Joe Frazier and hopefully to Jimmy Ellis too. Ellis with tremendous courage to lose it. The fifth round. The fifth round. The bell rang for the fifth. That's when he called him over. That will be the technical end of the fight. The knockout in the fifth round. Now to the ring. And we'll be back in just a minute. It's sleek. It's sophisticated. It's graceful. It's elegant. It's a fresh new look for spring. 
sporty houndstooth check, now captured by Mercury Cougar in this handsome vinyl roof. A beautiful way to top Cougar's sleek European styling. Inside, the houndstooth pattern is picked up again in deep foam padded buckets and roomy rear seats. Cougar's a lot more than just a good-looking luxury machine. It's powered by a 351 cubic inch V8 that delivers Cougar performance at the touch of a toe. Cougar. See the new Cougar collection at the sign of the cat. Yancey, turn Joe around if you will. Our camera's over there. Go. Yeah. For two and a half rounds, Jimmy was giving you a good go of it. It was then a left hook that got him into instant trouble, wasn't Jimmy, it? Jimmy was trying to move. That, no, he couldn't move it with the, with the spine part, and I have. I would like to take time to give thanks to Ray Anderson, Mo Man William, Charlie for Life, and uh, Ken Norton. These guys really got me in good shape because they move, they stick, they throw right hand, they throw left hand. And Jimmy Ellis is not that fast for the guys I've been working with. Everybody come in the J, the, the, the gym and say, Joe Frank, you look slow, he looks bad. I had some of the fastest buying part, and I think everybody ever worked with. Jimmy know was a fast guy like I had. I got these guys the speed, not the punch on, but the move for me and see them as I can catch them. At the, the end of the third round, you went back to your corner with a broad grin on your face. You knew you had it one then, didn't you? I know when, when I hit Jimmy pulling away, it feels like when you hit a baseball, it rides on the open field. That's what your chin felt. So I know he had to get up, but he wasn't coming back out. All right. Right now, Jimmy Ellis. This 